Jazzcast Pros. So for people that want to know the difference between microblading, micro shading, ombre, powder, it's basically different techniques to make the, a look a certain look that you desire. Your client may say, hey, I don't really want hair strokes. I want to look like it's makeup. Some clients may say, I don't want the makeup look. I want it to look like my real hair. Then you can do microblading, which is one hair stroke at a time. In Spanish, it's called, it's called pelo por pelo, which means hair by hair. And I quickly want to jump in why it's so important to be in on the trends and stay up to date on beauty services. Do the math. A thousand people times a thousand dollars makes what? million dollars welcome back to the beauty boss millionaire podcast with daily on the go episodes packed with testimonies and business tips to help you create financial freedom through entrepreneurship hosted by the owner of fracassi lashes and the blow dry lounge the beauty boss millionaire herself felicia fracassi Welcome back to Beauty Boss Millionaire. I'm your host, Felicia Fricasi. And the objective of today's episode is really just to go over the surface microblading and micro shading and ombre brows, which can really make you a lot of money if you're in the beauty industry. It's something new, it came out. And what's nice about microblading is that it's the easy way to make money as long as you can handle a little bit of bleeding and a little bit of blood like a paper cut. By the way, I'm actually traveling from store to store as I record these, so I'm in different studios. So if the quality of the audio is a little off, it's just because I'm travel. I'm literally in hotels, I'm on the road, I'm in airports, I'm in airport bathrooms. I'm trying to find the quietest, I'm in breastfeeding rooms recording these. <laughs> I just want the best audio for you all, so I try to do my best, so I apologize if it's a little off. All right, let's quickly jump into it. Again, microblading came out over 10 years ago in China. And, you know, it is one of those things where someone had to figure out how do we make these brows look realistic? Back in the day, they used to do the tattoo, which looked horrible after a few years. And, you know, the ink was too deep in the skin. The tattoo just didn't look right. And just one brow may have been off from the other. And it just looked like a big blob of ink or like a marker. And over time, it faded and looked like it was turning blue or turning green. And that was not the look that you want to have for someone. Microblading is totally different. Microblading is where we have these little small needles that are pinpoint. And we dip just the tip of these needles in that make a small little incision of a line that mimic hair strokes. So each line that we draw, we're drawing right next to a hair that looks realistic. So, or even if you have no hair, we're drawing some, we practice drawing how brows would really look 3D with over like a hundred strokes in it, meaning that each hair is being drawn on curved with that needle and we're dipping it in ink every time and we're drawing such a light cut that we're able to place the pigment in the skin as we go. So each stroke, we dip it in ink and then we start to draw the shape on. We dip it in ink, we draw the shape on. We dip it in ink, we draw the line. We dip it in ink, we draw the line. It's almost like having a pen, but a pen stops on paper. But with microblading, it has teeth and the teeth slowly drag into the skin that we curve it to make it look like lines that create hair strokes. So if you're one of those people that, you know, you want something that looks realistic, microblading is definitely the look that you want to go for. Now, micro shading is where we're actually using a pen and we're going back and forth, back and forth, and we're depositing a high level of pigment, but we're doing it so lightly. We're not going too deep in the skin like tattooing, but we're doing it so lightly that it's it looks realistic and it looks like a powder. So they call it ombre brow. They call it a powder brow. Ombre is really just where it fades out. Any type of ombre in hair or brows meaning that it goes from lighter to darker. So in the beginning, it's really light, like airbrushed, and then as you go, it's, it gets a little darker towards the tail, so it looks more faded. It looks more realistic. When you do the microblading, you have to go to class. You know, back in the day, I seen it, and I was in New York City when it came out, and I went to a class, learned how to do it, took a lot of practice over and over and over again, and eventually got really good to the point where I can do it. And a lot of times people spend time on the drawings, which is like the mapping part, which is the string, and then you have to measure it, and you have to dissect it down to make sure it looks perfect. A lot of times people struggle with that. My suggestion is that if you're already good at brows or you've been doing brows for a while, just study how someone's brow should look. Just like when you put on your eye, your makeup every day, you know, you know when you put on makeup over your brows to make them look more defined, 
you know how to make them look even. So, and you can always watch a lot of mapping videos on YouTube, which can really help. I always tell people don't get too caught up in mapping. Mapping is definitely important, don't get me wrong, but I've seen some people struggle three, four hours just to create an outline of a shape when it can really just be done by looking at the brow, measuring, drawing in, connecting the dots, and then measuring at the end and correcting from there. So there's several different ways you can do it. If you're really good like me, I've been doing it for a long time, I can just eye it out and then I measure and make sure it looks correct. But microblading is a really nice add-on service if you wanna, again, make quick money because it's something that you have to be really good at. And once you master it, you will make what you make in a week at your job, you'll make in a day. And I remember teaching this to a friend of mine who wanted to learn, but she just wasn't able to fathom the fact that she's lightly cutting someone's skin and it freaked her out. But again, it, this is not for the weak. This is for someone that can kind of handle it. Same thing for people that, you know, some people can't do surgery on people. This is not really, you know, surgery at all. It's just basically applying it to the skin, but it requires you to cut lightly, like a little paper cut. It's, the whole point is to cut into the top layer of the skin. You've got the epidermis and the dermis. You're cutting lightly in the top layer of that. A lot of guys will come to you. A lot of guys have come to me. We've done so many men's microblading that it is crazy. Because when men, after a while, their brows start to thin out over the years, just like women. And sometimes they don't really want to admit it, or some men are prideful, they don't want to say it. But then some men run in my store and all of our stores and they want the microblading because they want to have thicker hair all over again. And they don't want a feminine look, they want a manly look, but they just want it to be more emphasized and they don't want to have to get their brows tinted and dyed every month. So this is an alternative and it lasts. People always ask how long microblading lasts. Microblading lasts anywhere from two to five years, depending on how your skin is. If it's more oily, you may need to come and get it more often because your skin is pushing out the ink with the oils in your skin. If it's more dry, it'll probably last a little bit longer. But microblading and micro shading and ombre brows typically last two to five years depending on what type of ink is used and how well your technician has been trained. And if you're looking for training for microblading, please don't hesitate to call me or text me at 646-912-5274. That is our work line. We will have someone to text you back and kind of help answer any questions that you may have. We typically do a one-day training or if someone wants, we can do a two-day training uh, where we go in detail. Um, and just show you how to do the hair strokes. I break it down for really easy steps, one, two, three, and four. I have four steps that you're gonna do every single time on someone to make it really easy so you know how to draw these hair strokes and how to do the ombre brow and how to map. I have done so many trainings for so many people. One of my students I uh, trained in Sarasota, she drove all the way from Louisiana, shout out to her, to see me because she's seen my work online and she's seen how pleased the clients were and you know the training you know we charge a lot for the training but you want to look at your investing and learning you're getting that knowledge you're paying for that knowledge you're paying for the tools the material but it's the knowledge that you pay for a lot of people will stop when we tell them the price for trainings on eyelash extensions you know or microblading and it's so sad because honestly you can make a lot of money once you learn the, the knowledge. That's why in college they have, they pair people up with the doctor because the doctor has the knowledge. You went to school, you've done all that, but sometimes you need to learn from someone that actually has experience on how to handle the situation, how to do this, how to do that. In our situation, we have to train you on how to draw each hair stroke and how, or how to hold the pen correctly or how to get the most ink in the skin. So things like that are really important when it comes down to microblading and micro shading. So... Um, it's really, really good if you can learn it. And especially if you're in the beauty industry, anywhere in the beauty industry, I don't care if you're a guy, if you're in the beauty industry, you can learn this, take the training course with me and I will show you how to micro shade, micro blade, ombre brow, all of that, because it's one of those things that it'll probably be here for a while because it's the newest thing. There hasn't been anything else since then. And it's very lucrative. A lot of people want it. They don't want the tattoo. And it's an easy way to make a quick dollar. I think one of the days I made literally like $4,000 just doing microblading. So that's just, I'm telling you, it's easy money. 
You're going to be doing a lot of microblades. You can charge anywhere from $400 to $800 for it or even more. I know some people that charge $1,000 because they are that good. And that's okay. They can command that price. Some people would never pay that price. Some people would only pay, you know, maybe $300 or $400. But whatever that price is, it's probably a really good price. And finding those people is all about promoting on your social media Getting that word out there, word of mouth, letting people know that you do it, taking out maybe a, a, a radio or Instagram commercial and reaching out to those people. Because once you reach those people, do the math. A thousand people times a thousand dollars makes what? A million dollars. Know your math. I hope all of this has helped. And thanks for tuning in to Beauty Boss Millionaire. That's it for today. Tune in tomorrow for the Beauty Boss Millionaire podcast. And don't forget to follow the Beauty Boss Millionaire, Felicia Fricasi, on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Beauty Boss Millionaire. Also, if these are really helpful, please review, rate, and share, or just send the link to someone who may need this. See you tomorrow.